Unleash the power of knowledge and connect with the heartbeat of the African diaspora. Download our African Diaspora News Channel app now on Google Play and Apple App Store. Stay informed with authentic and diverse perspectives, breaking news and cultural insights. Immerse yourself in a community that celebrates unity, resilience and progress. Experience the vibrancy of the diaspora at your fingertips. Don't miss out. Empower your perspective today. Search African Diaspora News Channel and join the conversation. Peace, family. My name is Vicki Diller for African Diaspora News Channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to give the video a big thumbs up, thumbs up, and share the broadcast. Thank you so very much. This will alert other folks that we're here and that will help to elevate our collective Black voice. We who are the counter voice to the oppressive class media apparatus, and we speak for you, issues that matter to you. So thank you so much, family. Some of you may or may not know that I've been doing quite a bit of coverage for quite a bit of time now concerning uh, the United States meddling in the business uh, of our fellow Ghanaians. Uh, we know that, for example, um, I uh, did some coverage some time back on uh, the Ghana MP, Mr. Sam, which I love him so much. <laughs> oh, I know so many of y'all, you talk about this man so much. But um, I, I, um, I look forward uh, inshallah, one day to meeting uh, him because I so appreciate Mr. Sam George. I forgot to say the last name, Sam George. I so appreciate his strong stance on uh, the United States meddling in their business. And as um, President Museveni of uh, Uganda said, he said that when it comes down to their social laws, like LGBTQ laws, he said, we don't meddle in the business of the United States, even though we disagree with you all passing such things. And he said, um, this is a way for the United States to engage in social imperialism. I thought that was very apropos. I want you to watch this recent exchange during uh, the Department of State, the United States Department of State's daily press conference. Um, the spokesperson was asked a question concerning Ghana. Watch this. Did you issued last night on the anti-LGBTQ bill. Um, just to follow up on that, if my understanding is that the president, uh, Akufu Addo, hasn't signed it yet, are there talks with Ghana trying to uh, trying to stop this from becoming law? And if it, if it comes to fruition, is there a sense of, um, of what, what the repercussions, if any, could be in the U.S.? So we have made very clear what our opinion is on, uh, on that law. You can look at my statement yesterday, and we have made that clear uh, in private conversations uh, with the government of Ghana as well. I don't think I should get uh, any more specific than that. But if this bill becomes law, it would certainly have a chilling effect on foreign investment and tourism in Ghana. You've seen that uh, you've seen that same chilling effect bear fruit in Uganda, which passed a, a very similar law in the past. Uh, and I can say that, um, you know, should the bill pass, it would um, potentially have ramifications on uh, U.S. assistance in the, in the country. Sure. OK, family, did you see that? This is spokesperson Matthew Mueller, which he is so I mean, to be the spokesperson for the United States State Department, he's so embarrassing for a number of different reasons when it comes down to international news and how the United States tries its best to defend the indefensible. And they're the only ones that's believing words that's coming out of their mouth because nobody in the world, rest of the world is believing it. But I found it very revealing, uh, Mr. Matthew Miller's response. First of all, let me give you a little bit of background for those of you that may or may not know. Ghana has um, officially, even though the uh, reporter that asked the question uh, clearly was not uh, informed that they had actually signed the bill, and maybe at that exact moment, maybe it was maybe in between, but at this point, um, Ghana passed the bill. Uh, they passed their LGBTQ uh, bill. And so you can see mainstream media like BBC, they're doing all types of, in my opinion, slanderous coverage of it as well. But one of the things it talks about is that their law, this particular law um, was said that it says here that the um, bill proposes a jail term of up to 10 years for anyone involved in LGBTQ advocacy campaigns aimed at children, which that's one of their social uh, situations in Ghana was where they don't want you targeting their children. They have the right to determine that for their own society's sake. Um, it says here that it encourages the public to report members of the community to authorities for necessary action, which I believe that's taken out of context. Uh, the piece also says that the MPs said the bill was drafted in response to 
the opening of Ghana's first LGBTQ community center in the capital of Accra in January of 2021. Uh, they claim that the police shut down the center following public protest and pressure from religious bodies and traditional leaders in the largely Christian nation. It says at the time of the Christian Council of Ghana and the Ghana Pentecostal and Charismatic Council said in a joint statement um, that that was alien to the Ghanaian culture and family value system. And so um, it says the bill approved by lawmakers is a watered down version of an earlier draft, for instance. It says jail terms have been shortened and a controversial clause on conversion therapy has been removed. So this, once again, is the United States and the West meddling their business in uh, uh, the, on the African continent. Of course, as the spokesperson admitted that they have imposed sanctions on other African countries because of their social laws that they chose to pass, they choose to pass there. Now, I want you. Did you hear? where spokesperson Miller said that they privately talked to Ghana's leadership and warned them that there would be business repercussions if they were to pass this law. This is the reason why the so-called global South, which of course includes the African continent is rising up. This is the reason why the United States is obsessed over de-dollarization globally, it's not because of some so-called Russian propaganda. It's not because of stuff that the Chinese are doing. It's all because of you, America. Every time somebody does something that you don't like, you turn around and impose some sort of economic or financial sanctions, which essentially this is what it is when it comes down to affecting their trade. And my understanding, according to some experts, that a lot of these sanctions really are illegal, especially the global uh, sanctions, because these are supposed to be things that are within a certain type of guideline that you agreed on in the in different UN charters uh, when um, global sanctions are imposed. But America has unilaterally used this just in such a pathetic way that this is the reason why the world don't want to fool with you. When the world sees that every time somebody does something like Russia, you impose no exaggeration, thousands of sanctions whether on uh, different individuals or entities, when they see that you do that, who's going to want to feel comfortable fooling with you, America? Because they see if you get upset with somebody, America will shut you down economically. And that ends up blowing up in your face because you, when you push someone's uh, back up against the wall, you're just going to teach them how to survive without you. And that's exactly what these other countries are doing. This is the reason why you all are nervous about BRICS. And in fact, it's you that's assuring their success. It's you that's assuring that they unify. It's not, it's not propaganda. It's not because somebody's jealous of America for a so-called democracy. That's a lie. They're doing it because you are a bully and you are trying to maintain your neo-colonial hold over these countries. They disagree with what we're doing here. But you don't see them meddling in our business when it comes down to that. That is a shame, America. And not only that, you have to ask yourself, you have to ask whether or not this is truly, there's racism involved in this and also very likely an anti-Black agenda. Why do I say that? Because I've said this before, just like our brother has said also, Mr. Sam George, the United States, one of her top trade partners is Saudi Arabia. The United States does big business with Qatar. Those countries have strict LGBTQ laws to the point to where in an instance, you could actually be unalive. They can take your life legally, but you don't see the United States making such threats and doing such things to Saudi Arabia because she wants the big oil and the other big deals to keep coming in. You don't see her saying that to Qatar. And as much as she can't stay in Russia, you don't even really see her pressing Russia like that about those issues because Russia has strict LGBTQ laws. There is an agenda against the continent and an uneven hand that you're playing with them that you don't play with everybody else, especially those that are in the Middle East. Shame on you, America. And you are hastening your own doom. You are isolating your own self. Stop lying and saying people are plotting to de-dollarize just because they hate you. Stop lying saying it's all propaganda because everybody hates America and they're trying to get the Africans to hate America too. No, it's all you. 
I can't wait to hear what you all have to say about it. Be sure to comment below. My name is Vicki Dillard, beloved. Be sure to check out my website at vickiplanet.com. That's V-I-C-K-I planet.com. I have some ancient oud, uh, oud, which is spiritual material for your manifestation. I have a low-cost spiritual, uh, spiritual mastermind school that's going to absolutely change your life and give you an unfair advantage in every area of life for a very low cost. Go to vickiplanet.com to join and to learn more about what I do. And of course, be sure to share the broadcast here for African Diaspora News Channel and download our app. I can't wait to see you again.